The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. It's time to give a shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international award-winning author, Mian Mosin Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, then you'll love Missing by Mia Mosin Zia. Available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries with two strangers and one target where truth is an illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available in paperback and ebook on Amazon. Missing by Mia Mosin Zia has garnered great reviews and is even loved by Hollywood celebrities including Joanna Cassidy, Forbes Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today. Order Missing by Mia Mosin Zia, now available at Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the MikeWagnerShow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international war ring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and Eve 11 endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn, and Heard Worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And check out the Mike Widener Show merchandise 24-7 at themikewidenershow.com. T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, throw bags, tote pillows, and more. Makes great gift ideas for your family and friends. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, including tank tops, hoodies, and also phone cases, and a lot more, go to me and Molson Zia store and Amazon.com and check out his catalog of great books, including Missing Once and More. Go to Amazon.com slash me and Molson Zia and check out the me and Molson Zia store today. Make sure you buy and don't forget to support us generally 
generously at the Mike Wagner show.com. Also support us on anchor FM slash support and also PayPal at the Mike Wagner show. Make sure you do it today. We're here with a terrific gentleman who is a yes, singer, songwriter, guitarist, and just an amazing legend. Just coming out of the, um, the Boston music scene. And, um, he's from Philadelphia and, um, he, uh, went, he, uh, grew up, uh, in near clear air force base in clear alaska then came back to philly and he's toured with uh, joanna wild in excess rush scorpions and um def leppard and all the 80s classics and uh, he also formed um this wonderful group we'll talk about in just a minute in 79 performed throughout new england and opened uh, for jay giles band on the freeze frame tour and he's also got uh two soul albums released and he's got um a couple of works a couple of movies and uh a brand new album we'll talk about live ladies and gentlemen from the plus studios along the east coast the very very multi-talented john butcher john good morning good afternoon well, good evening thanks thank for you joining for us today me. thank you i'm glad i'm glad to be here Oh, I, I mean, I mean, you're just an amazing talent as well, too. I mean, you've been a legend in the uh, the Boston area, New England in the 80s, and you've got um, you formed the uh, John Bookshire Axis, and you also uh, performed throughout New England, and you often for Jay Giles Band, which had to be amazing during the Freeze Frame Tour. You later formed um, Barefoot Serpents in 94 with Leland Sklar, and you also released two solo albums. And you also um, you have a number of albums like your uh, self-titled debut, Stare at the Sun, Along the Axis, and uh, which featured The Ritual, got some uh, awards, all that, some great airplay. And of course, you had Wishes, Pictures from the Front, and more. And before we talk about that, uh, tell us how you first got started, John. How I first got started playing guitar was I wanted to be a singing cowboy. Oh, I really? Watch, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, living in Alaska, we got uh, TV shows later than most people. So uh -huh. I would watch singing cowboys like Roy Rogers. And I said, geez, the horse, the girl, eh, that looks good to me. And <laughs> up until I, up until recently, I, I guess I decided I wasn't going to be a cowboy anymore, but the music worked out. <laughs> and of course, as long as you get the girl, that's the main goal of the cowboy. <laughs> yeah, I sure did. <laughs> exactly. And, and what was that one precise moment that simply influenced you into what you're doing today? Besides Roy Rogers. I, I, I snuck in backstage at the, uh, at the, uh, at a venue in Philadelphia uh, mm -hmm. called the electric factory. And I saw Jimi Hendrix do his sound check. I was too young to get in, but that was life altering. Uh, hearing that level of loud guitar and feeling it in my bones was life altering, as I said. And that I think was the moment I knew where my path was. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, it had to be a big influence as well, too. And besides Jimi Hendrix, or who are some of other favorite artists, singers, and musicians growing up? Um, geez, that's that's a tough one. In terms of writing, I loved everyone from Stevie Wonder to John Lennon, uh, uh, and 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 Paul Simon. Uh, all of these classic writers had a, a deep impact on me, and I kind of uh, opened my eyes to a bigger world. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes uh, musicians circles are small and the more you travel and the more things you see and the more people you meet, your vision gets wider. I think that's what happened to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and of course, too, the fact that uh, you also um, venture on your own as well, too, that uh, you, you, also, you also got started as well, too. I mean, um, that um, you, you toured with uh, Joanna Wild in excess and everything else. And you also formed um, John Butcher Axis as well, too, in 79. And um, I mean, you just took an amazing journey. Yeah, Axis was really the, be the, the, the beginning. I was in a local band called Johanna Wild in, uh, in, in Boston. But when Axis formed, we got signed to Polygram Records. And that was the beginning of traveling the world and, and, and seeing how big the world was. And that has an impact on, on, on young musicians, at least it did for me. Mm -hmm. uh, touring in those days meant, back in the early days, it meant jumping into a van all together and driving to places. And the more the band traveled, kind of the bigger we got. And so that allowed me to go to the UK and, and Europe and to discover the power of music. Mm, it had to be. And what would you say your favorite place was uh, on the other side of the pond? Hammersmith. Hammersmith, really? How yeah. so? I, I, because it was, it, it was at, at, the, at the time that we were there, uh, it was energy plus. I stayed for a while at a, a, a studio in Monmouth, Wales uh, called Rockfield. 
mm-hmm. where Robert Plant did his record. And that was, that, that was life altering for me too. Being away from home and seeing again, how big the world is and meeting people like Plant and uh, uh, Eddie Van Halen and all of these people, Jeff Beck and all the people that became my contemporaries was, you know, for a young guy, it was mind blowing. There's no other way to say it. <laughs> it has me mind blowing as well too. And, um, and what was it like uh, when, you know, playing with those guys? Uh, I did a video with Jeff Beck uh, uh, called ambitious mm-hmm. in uh, the mid or late eighties. And I, he had was one of my guitar heroes. Uh, and he still is. I think he's the greatest living guitar player and, and, and meeting him and spending time with him and learning just how to be changed me, I think for the better. I became uh, more interested in everything, uh, more interested in my own career uh, as a writer. Uh, it was really important for, I, I hated my singing at the beginning of my career. The first two records that I did with Axis on Polygram Records, they're really hard for me to listen to now because I hear all the mistakes. I hear all the things I didn't know how to do then that I learned how to do later. And that was, a, that was out of traveling and, and meeting people and working with terrific musicians. Hmm. It had to be interesting too. And uh, we'll talk more about your, um, your previous music as well too, some of your accomplishments and also your, uh, your projects as well too, like uh, John Butcher 360 and uh, War- yeah. Watermelon, Watercolors Movies. And uh, you got Special Day coming up. We'll talk about those, but first listen to the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout-out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion and those you love be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and even loved and endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. And heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. And follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, including T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, throw pillows, tote bags, and more, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, including hoodies, as well as uh, phone cases, tank tops, and a lot more, and great books by Mia Mosin Zia, <coughs> go to Amazon.com and check out Mia Mosin Zia's Missing, also other great works, and make sure you support today. <coughs> and also, check out the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM slash support, and make sure you give today. Also donate generously to the MikeWidenerShow.com and also on PayPal at Mike Widener Show today. Make sure you do as well. We're here with the amazing um, singer, songwriter, and amazing guitarist, John Butcher here on the Mike Widener Show from Philadelphia, going to Clear Air Force Base and back to Philly. He also, he also toured with Joanna Wild, In Excess, Rush, Scorpions, Def Leppard, more. And you also uh, open up for the Jay Giles Band with the uh, Freeze Frame. And um, tell us more about that. What's it like uh, playing for Jay Giles? Well, first of all, getting chosen to open that tour was magic. Imagine being in, being in Boston at that time where the Jay Giles Band and Aerosmith were it. Mm-hmm. And uh, through a confluence of events, we were chosen, Axis was chosen to open three dates at the Boston Garden around New Year's Eve, just three wow. days. Well, that was amazing. But unbeknownst to me, Peter Wolf loved it. And we ended up doing the 70 date tour. And so here I am for the first time in, in my young life, seeing, uh, you know, 25 and 30,000 seat uh, venues 
and being the opening act for one of the best and most popular bands in the world. Uh, it was the uh, ultimate springboard. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, yeah, it is. And of course, you know, I remember um, Jay Giles and um, seeing him and putting on a show, you know, especially a freeze frame. And I think that was the uh, album that really pulled him over the top. But then in 70s, you also had some um, other albums as well, too. Uh, I could probably think back to Love Stinks. And I think those like their <laughs> first yeah. and second album. And I'm trying to um, remember which one's like, oh, my gosh, it's like I got to go through my microfiche of 80s stuff. So <laughs> Mike, we got along really well, the, the band and, and us. And we got to be friends and I'm still friends with those guys all these years later. And I, I, I credit that, that tour and I credit Peter Wolf and the band for choosing us to go on that tour as being really the launch of my career. Mm -hmm. And of course, you also had some uh, other great works as well, too, that you also had your debut album. You also had um, Stare at the Sun. You also had uh, Along the Axis, which featured yeah. Ritual and got a lot of amazing airplay and um, also got uh, nominated, nominated for, for Grammy. Grammy. Well. What's that? You're nominated for a Grammy. Yes, that's right. For and the first and, time, yeah. Yeah, that was your uh, big accomplishment. I mean, you just have like, ooh, a king scroll of it. Was it, um, was it not for bust? And also I had, um, you had, what was it? Uh, pictures from the front and um, yeah. wisdom, wishes and more. Electric I mean, Factory was, was what, I did a couple of records for Mike Varney's label, uh, blues records, uh, one Electric Factory. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, those records are still around and they're great. And all of these experiences together, Mike, all of them together really made, made me, created the guy I am now, for better or worse, I think for better. All of those experiences, all the wonderful people I've met along the way, all the brilliant musicians that I've had a chance to tour with and write with and work with, I credit them all for, for allowing me to have a career. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, too, you also, um, you know, you know, did a couple of solo projects and uh, you yeah. also formed, um, what was it, Barefoot Serpents in 94 with Leland Sklar and had him on the show. Leland's, he was great. Yeah, Leland Sklar on bass, uh, Ben Schultz on guitar and Ray Brinker on drums. And that was that was something, you know, first of all, meeting uh, uh, Leland, uh, who has played with everybody on Earth. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, how do you not feel honored by that? I was honored and, and, and felt special. And, uh, and that tour uh, cemented my relationship with Lee forever. We're brothers now. And it was, it happened on that tour. So, so even though uh, uh, the servants only did two records and even within the span of those two records, we did a lot of traveling uh, in, in the uh, United States and, and we got to be friends and that's what I value. I, I value his friendship more than any other. Mm -hmm. And of course I had him on the show a couple of times on the Mike Wagner show and you get him uh, talking about something and he'll just go on. And I mean, he just had some great tales, even about um, Phil Collins and Genesis. I mean, I know. Imagine riding a tour bus with him, Mike. What's that? Uh, I said, imagine riding a tour bus with Lee. The stories go on all night, all day and all the next night. And all of us are, are, are held wrapped because this guy has done it all. He's been there, you know, he's seen the mountaintop, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So I learned a lot from Lee. I think the most important thing I learned is how to be, just how to be. And that guy is comfortable in his own skin. And I think if we can all figure out how to be comfortable in our own skin, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a good thing as well, too, that uh, you also proceeded to, um, you know, go on some other projects like John Butcher 360, Watercolors uh, Movies, and you also got uh, Special Day, your brand new album. I mean, ooh, what an accomplishment you have. I think it's the best, re Mike, it's, I think it's the best record I've ever done. Um, and, and I know artists say that, but, but I have a, I've done several records, okay? I have a, a track record. And I know that this, this album, Special Day, is all of the things I learned and all of the stories I've been privy to and all of the friendships I've made all condensed into this album. Hmm. It had to be. And maybe you can just uh, share a few stories you had as well, too. It can be like, you know, you know some, something you had on stage with a friend or, you know, play with somebody or maybe even something that's funny that just uh, say, you know, people say, 
what the heck? So, you know, Leon Scar always has a, a thing about somebody with uh, something and just goes on and on or maybe something similar too. So we were touring, uh, and, and not with Lee, but in Axis, we were supporting uh, uh, the Holy War record. And mm -hmm. I had done a video for MTV uh, that had one of the televangelists on a banner in back of me that the, the video producers set on fire. Well, oh my. I thought that was cool, right? So we're on tour and I get off the tour bus in Tennessee and there's cops everywhere, right? There's cops all around the bus. I hadn't gotten off the bus yet. And I'm looking out, I said, geez, I wonder what's going on out here. I, and, and riot police. And when I opened the door, the captain of the police department came up and he says, are you John Butcher? And I went, um, who wants to know? And that's when I found out that all the hullabaloo was because of my video that wow. had pissed people off, not the fans, you know, the, the fans that, that came and bought the tickets for the show. Well, they loved that. But all of these uh, uh, Christian groups and people got very angry with me. Mm -hmm. And that, of course, blew up and, and made the album sell. And I got, you know, I was on TV the next day and I learned something about uh, uh, accidental publicity. <laughs> uh, you know, we, 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 we've, we've been there yeah <laughs> it, it, it wasn't my idea but it worked out <laughs> i i think we'll have to try that one day try to create something by accident i mean yeah that's what happened mm -hmm. it, it, it kind of maybe think of accidental publicity it's like you know just kind of go off a tangent a little bit maybe think of that wendy's commercial where that punchline is supposed to be it's like you know look look at all that bread and then clara peller says those three famous words where's the beep that was accidental publicity. People remember that than what the original punchline was said. So listen to this, Mike. I, I used to have this manager uh, back in the day. This guy had worked with Aerosmith. So I thought he was legit. You know, I won't mention his name. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it, it, it didn't take long to discover that he was stealing from the band. You oh, know, really? we, all our tour, tour receipts, all our merchandise money stolen. Right. So I said to him, well, listen, uh, that's enough. Let's just part company and we'll be friends. And that's that. I didn't want to go after him. I just wanted to be done with it and move on. Mm -hmm. One day, not long after that, I was playing in Providence, Rhode Island. And these two guys, they, they looked like they were uh, from the Sopranos, mm -hmm. walked into my sound check and just stood in front of me on stage. Now, there's nobody in the room because it's sound check. The show hasn't started yet. And these two guys who look like they're from the Sopranos were staring at me and I'm standing on the stage by myself, messing with my guitar and getting ready to have dinner. So finally I'm getting scared and I start to leave the stage. And one of the guys walks up to him and he goes, are you John Butcher? Oh my he God. Wasn't smiling. I said, uh, yes, I am, sir. How can I help you? And he whips out a badge like this and he shows it and puts it away. And he goes, are you John Butcher? He said it again, just like that. That's all he said. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, my God, what's going to happen here? I don't know who these two guys are. So I'm trying to make up my mind what to do. And he reaches into his pocket and he pulls out a contract. He has this piece of paper and he shows this to me. And the contract says, I, John Butcher, swear to never leave blank blank this manager. And I owe him all this money and sign it. And I'm thinking... What? Yes, dude. So he whips out a pen. He goes, do you want to sign this? And I, and I, I my, you know, my mind is racing. What do I do? Do I say no and try and run? Are they going to shoot me, break my legs? So I had the presence of mind to go, anything I sign like this is not going to hold up in court. So I took the document that he said, this letter that I supposedly wrote to reinstate my old manager. Mm -hmm. I signed it gave it back to him. He folds up the letter. He puts it in his pocket and then he reaches into his other pocket and he whips out a poster of me. And he says, will you sign this for my daughter? Oh my gosh. And I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out because this, I just wanted this to be over. So I signed the poster and these two guys leave and we called the FBI that night. Wow. It was crazy. It was cra that's the craziest thing that's ever happened to me. This manager got arrested. He went to jail oh my and God. I never found out what happened after that. But that was my 
what would I call it? My close call with the mafia. How about that? Wow. Yeah, that's what I said. Boy, I, I guess forget about, well, take on a different meaning, it seems. <laughs> it's, you know, now that I look back on it, that's, that, that story has some comedy to it. Mm -hmm. But at the time, I'm shaking in my boots because I don't know what they're going to do to me. Mm -hmm. So there you go. A, <laughs> a, a day in the life. A, a day in the life pretty much as well, too. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah. And, and, and of course, you know, we'd love to have you play as well too, but um, you're in a little studio and um, whatever else. And um, you know, on, on speaking of uh, things you've done as well too, that, um, you know, a lot of guys were on shutdown because of pandemic and everything else. And um, you were working on some projects as well too, like John Butcher 360, watercolors uh, movies and yeah, special day. And um, were those done during the pandemic or what were you doing, uh, you know, by the time uh, the pandemic started and uh, up until yeah. now, and everyone's like, okay, let's go back to work. Yeah. During the pandemic, I decided to do something with that static energy, right? There was no, all of my gigs were canceled just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. All the tours that we had lined up, everything canceled. So I took that energy and decided I've always been interested in making my own videos for, for promotion. I threw myself headlong into this project and it turned into a company called Watercolors. And we make many movies for artists or other people who are interested in getting the, a message out. All right. And I got good at it. And, and over the past year, that's taken off. I've got a client list uh, that I do uh, these mini movies, I call them for. And, and it's really allowed me an outlet, a creative outlet for that energy that was sort of like pent up while we didn't go anywhere, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and at the same time, I had a studio. And like many musicians, I went into the studio and started to create the foundation for Special Day. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and also tell us more about the watercolor movies and, um, you know, where can we find them and uh, who you had on and everything. Sure. That's, I, that I, sounds I, like a really I, interesting I, project. I have a website uh, called Watercolors uh, and a Facebook page. So anybody can find it just by going to Facebook and, and inputting Watercolors by John Butcher. Okay. And, and what, I, what I found out was there was a niche that can't be filled by musicians who don't have a a forty or fifty thousand uh, dollar budget, mm -hmm. you know, to do to, to do a vid or to do a, a short promo, and I filled that niche in terms of being able to allow guys like myself, who don't have deep pockets, but 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 had an interest in getting the word out, getting the message out about a new record or a new book, and it it really worked out. I'm so happy I spent time doing that because it's something I really enjoy. And it's something that sort of, it made itself worthwhile. Mm -hmm. And it sounds too. And uh, where can we find uh, Wild Co Wild Color Movies at? You can go to Facebook. I think that's the best. That, that, that's where I would suggest going first. Watercolors by John Butcher. Uh, put that into your search box at Facebook and you'll see, you'll, you'll, you'll see all about it. Okay. All right. We'll certainly do so. We'll talk a bit more about uh, special day, what's coming up yes. for John Butcher and more, but first listen to the Mike Wagner show at the Mike Wagner show.com powered by Sonic web studios. Visit online at soundwebstudios.com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner show, international warring author, me and most and Zia missing available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. We'll be back with the amazing John Butcher. After this time up. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1 800 303 3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia. 
He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody, it's Mike from The Mike Widener Show. The Mike Widener Show can be heard on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple, and more. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn, where The Mike Widener Show interviews great guests, cool conversation, lots of laughs, coffee, and more. Take The Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device, subscribe to The Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel, and follow The Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers. And if there's one thing you can count on in these unpredictable times, it's that you're in good hands getting some great radio, courtesy of The Mike Wagner Show. We're back with the very multi-talented guitarist, songwriter, and more, John Butcher, formed at John Butcher Axis, and um, also uh, toured with Joanna Wild and... Um, all the other great groups here on the Mike Wagner Show, very influential in the 80s uh, New England scene. We talked a little bit about John Butcher 360, Watercolors uh, Movies, and you also got a special day as well, too. We uh, touched a bit and maybe just uh, tell a bit more and um, what songs are on there and also um, you know, what inspired the to do a uh, special day and more, especially what the lyrics you're based on. Special day that began, it, it was born out of the, the, the pandemic. And I realized something about myself in terms of writing. I write small stories. You can talk about big topics framed in small ways and people can hear that. A lot of times when, you te- when a writer tries to tackle topics like racism or poverty, if you put it in, those co- in that context, it's a turnoff mm-hmm. because people don't want to engage in big topics. Right. But small stories about this person or that person in, in your life that, that, that has a subtext of, of those bigger topics, that really works. And that's what Special Day is about. Mm. Special Day is a collection of small stories that talk about big things. Wow, that's interesting. And, uh, and, and give us some examples, too, like about uh, small topics into big things. I mean, this is really interesting. There's a, uh, there's a track. Uh, well, Special Day the, the, the title track was about my mother telling me that I was worthwhile. I uh-huh. think that sounds insignificant, but so many of us grow up without really learning that we are worthwhile, that we uh-huh. have something to offer. And so, my, so from my mom, uh, I took that small story and, and the song and the video, the supporting movie, is, a, is about small stories. The small things that happen to people that have big impacts on their lives. Right. Yeah. And, and of course you also had some others as well too. And um, I hear, I hear of human interest stories all the, all the time, like a paraplegic, you know, end up winning like, you know, Nobel peace prize or say like with um, 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 a single mother of eight uh, living in poverty, you, you know, creates a recipe or whatever. And, uh, it becomes like, you know, multi-million dollar business, you know, stuff like that. I mean, I mean, people need to hear that. The very thing you, the, the, what you just said, I wrote a song. One of my biggest records was called Wishes. And that came out in the uh, late 80s. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and, and uh, that album for me was big because the title track was about a woman, a poor woman with kids to feed. But I didn't want to talk about poverty. I wanted to talk about this woman's life. Uh-huh. And in that way, it reached a lot of people. It was successful for me around the world. And I think it's because people could relate to the story of this, of this woman and, 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 and the struggle for life and her kids instead of soapboxing and talking about, you know, inequality. You know, I, I'm not, I, I don't think I, I want to write a story about inequality. What I want to talk about is a, a, a man or a woman or a, a boy or a girl who is dealing with inequality in their life and tell that story and not soapbox. And, and of course, oh, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. You got a good thing going. No. Does that make sense to you? Yes, it does make sense. And uh, we can all relate these days. And, um, you know, people are looking for something different, especially during this time. And um, what else do you base your lyrics on? They're usually... Uh, 
my lyrics come from my experience. I, I, I have a hard time talking about things that, that, that I don't know mm-hmm. or that haven't happened to me personally. Mm-hmm. And, and I've lived a long enough life now where several things like those two mafia guys in Providence, Rhode Island, things have happened to me. And so those anecdotes find their way into my music and my lyrics. And that's important to me. And that's what Special Day is about. They're small stories about big things. And where can we find Special Day at? It's going to be released June 15th. And at, and, and at June 15th, it'll be available everywhere at all the usual suspects. Okay. All right. That sounds very good. We're looking forward to it. Once again, we're with John Butcher here on the Mike Wagner Show. And um, just a few more things. You've been absolutely amazing. I learned a lot from you. And what else can we expect from you in 2021 and beyond, John? I'm going to continue uh, expanding watercolors. Um, uh, I I'm, uh, have an opportunity to work with the wonderful singer, Patty Austin, and I'm going to be doing a movie with her. Uh, I, I'm also uh, always looking for opportunities to, to branch out of, of music that I'm doing and see where it leads. I do a certain amount of acoustic gigs a year, and I really enjoy that, solo acoustic gigs. And I also still tour occasionally with Axis. And I think uh, 2021 and 2022 is going to be about uh, promoting special day and traveling. I think, and certainly looking forward to it. I mean, I'm very looking forward to it. And uh, who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to say three people. I'm going to say Sly Stone, Paul Simon, and John Lennon. Hmm. Ah, a very interesting uh, trinity. I seem to like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put that on my mic cross too. So. <laughs> and what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Oh, advice is bad. Advice, advice is bad. bad. Okay. <laughs> if people ask for advice, I like, I, I, I'm inclined to maybe give my opinion, but oftentimes it, you know, if it's not asked for, you know, then it's kind of like an intrusion, like a tap on the shoulder. Here's some advice. I think, I think if I were to say anything, it would be about learning to live with yourself. Learning to be comfortable in your own skin is probably the most important thing you can do for yourself. And that's very important as well, too. Once again, we're with John Butcher, um, you know, singer, songwriter, multi-talented guitarist here on the Mike Wagner Show. John, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much for having me. No problem. And uh, by the way, we are looking forward to having you in soon and keep us up to date. We're not going to, you know, say you're not coming back. We definitely have you back on. Just keep us up to date. And uh, just one more thing. Uh, tell us, once again, tell us about your upcoming projects, what's your website, how do people contact you, where can people purchase or listen to your music or check out uh, Watercolors? Okay. I can be, first of all, I can be found uh, um, at, at Facebook and all, and, and all of the other social media outlets. Um, <laughs> excuse me. I'm also uh, promoting uh, watercolors, my movie, um, my mini movie making business. And, uh, and Special Day will be released June 15th everywhere. And uh, I think you'll have a hard time not finding it, but I'll send you a copy anyway. That sounds good. We're certainly looking forward to it. Once again, John, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely terrific. Looking forward to having you soon. No problem. And do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on 2021 Beyond. And don't forget to keep in touch. You've been absolutely terrific. Terrific. Thanks, Mike. Hey, everybody. My name is Forbes Riley, and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real-life relationship. It's just, it's well-written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. 
If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving and increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.